everybody and happy happy Monday I wanted to do this earlier but I went out in the yard and I started doing stuff and <laughs> I got all dirty and I was dumping like swamp water that's been sitting in pots and stuff and I just got really messed up so <laughs> so my hair is a mess and because uh, I was out there for a couple hours just just having fun you know I love you know, I love my yard. Love my deck, love my yard. And since uh, I took a trek to Christmas tree shops up in New York State yesterday, I got a lot of fun new stuff for the backyard. I always buy good stuff in Christmas tree shops for my atomic universe out there, outside the uh, woodland. Okay, got a lot of fun stuff to show. And, uh, a uh, new podcast posted as of last night, and it is uh, The Legend of Command and the Enoch Light Story. Very, very fabulous uh, uh, podcast. Really fun, very informative. Stuff that I didn't even know about, like Tony Matola and that Enoch Light was from Harrison, New Jersey. Wow, I had no idea. Very, very fun. So. Uh, you can do, and uh, also upcoming very soon is the uh, uh, we're going to have an Android app for Radio Tink so you'll be able to put that app on your phone and be able to click on it and go to your um, to the podcasts with one click very very fun as soon as Podbean has the app uh, ready I gave them the graphics as soon as they make it I will forward it to you guys and you can put it right on your Android I don't have an iPhone app yet, but uh, I'll, I'll look into that. They were they were offering an Android app with the uh, level of service that I have, so I think it's awesome. Of course, I use an Android. I do not use an iPhone. I love my iPad. I love it. Use it all the time, but uh, the iPhone is too small. I think I like my Galaxy. It's it's big. It's I just I just like the Android platform better, so uh, so uh, any of you that have Androids are going to be able to have the Radio Tink app right on your little uh, desktop there on your phone face, whatever. Click on it and you'll go right to the podcast. It's really really fun. Okay, let's see where are we going to start. I'm going to start with some fun gifties I got the other day. This is from my friend Trish. She uh, lives on the Jersey Shore. And the Jersey Shore, well, she actually lives in Point Pleasant. And for 20, 25 years, when I was, as I was growing up, I, actually well into, well into my 30s, uh, my dad had a house on the beach in Point Pleasant. So uh, we went there every single weekend. We went there sometimes all summer if, uh, you know, if we were, weren't working or if uh, actually there was there was a time when uh, I didn't work on Mondays uh, I so I had Saturday Sunday Monday and Blanca was also off on Monday so we used to go down for a three-day weekend all summer long you know just have a great time and I love watching uh, Trish go around town and show me what Point Pleasant looks like now I don't normally go down the shore in the summer anymore I, I can't and the traffic and the way people drive on the parkway it's crazy but I love uh, the Jersey Shore in the winter and the fall off season off season and we go there a lot in the winter to go to that uh, awesome huge seafood restaurant in mm, the Seabright area uh, called bars B-A-H-R-S best seafood ever old school big old white uh, wooden building right on the water you know docks in the back it's just you know it's what the Jersey Shore is all about so anyway um, she sent me a package the other day and I got a, a little note with it and I, I love handwritten notes I, I just have a thing for you know it's like old old school also and I just love having handwritten notes and I always keep these I always keep handwritten notes people send me 
and she says greetings from the Jersey Shore here are two mixes I hope you like there's some world music I hope you like if I see you in dreads and smoking a blunt in your next video yep I'll know oh my have a magical musical week Trish and she always makes it she always draws a little picture I love it yes I love world music I actually love reggae and I love um, Bob Marley <laughs> so that wasn't so far-fetched right there okay uh, she sent me an Izzy sandwich Izzy sandwich may we have one yeah we're good pups I love the covers they're so cute look at the two little doggies she knows I love dogs of course and whenever she shows her dog I go crazy so really good stuff and we got some very unusual interesting music on here Anaki Israel Kamakawiwo Ale <laughs> that sounds good because that sounds Hawaiian and the name of the tune is White Sandy Beach we have Rabbi Shankar who is one of my very favorites um, Little Graskals now that sounds really fun uh, blue uh, bluegrass nine pound hammer little Graskals that sounds really interesting to me that's gonna be great and uh, Baja men uh, some really really interesting stuff Izzy sandwich very fun and the other one is really cute I love the cover on this one it says I like Tink's podcast I like Tink's podcast I like Tink's podcast the atomic bunny spring break mix 2014 look at that I love it it's like it's like a work of art I love it it's like uh, it's like outsider art and I adore it and here we have Baja men again we have Phil Collins who of course I've always loved um, uh, Mamane Barca, that sounds good. And the song is Belonga. Osha. Steely Dan. One of the best of all times. A lot of great stuff. Over the Rainbow by Harry Nelson. That's interesting. Very fun. I don't have a CD player in the house. Well, I do have one in the house, but it's not hooked up. Because I am total I am a total analog freak. So the only way I can play these is in the car. And uh, my CD player in the car isn't working right now. I have to take it over to my brother's shop and get it fixed. But I really look forward to these. Really fun. I love that cover. Really great stuff. Okay, let's see. Um, got some fun stuff. I got the Gita. Uh, the Gita cards. Wisdom from the Bhagavad Gita. And it's a, it's a deck of cards, almost tarot like, I guess. But the artwork on these cards are so beautiful. Look, I just love the Indian artwork. It's just beautiful. And every card is just a masterpiece here. Just, you can stare at them for hours. I love the blue god, the blue people, the blue gods that the Indians have, Krishna and stuff. Very fun. Look at that. They're so spectacular. This is the Gita, Wisdom from the Bhagavad Gita, a set of 68 inspirational cards, really spectacularly beautiful. Oh, here's my favorite, Ganesh, Ganesha, that's not he special? Uh, these are just amazing, I mean, every, one card is more beautiful than the next, look at that. Just beautiful. So, and they all have like something on uh, all kinds of wisdom and stuff, a saying for the day. Um, it's in Sanskrit and English. Really awesome cards, really fun. Love those. And the box is beautiful. <laughs> really pretty. Um, Christmas tree shop. I got stuff that I put outside, of course, already. And then I got, I got this beautiful, um, Look, I got fuzz on my hair, on my lips again. It's driving me insane. Okay, I got it. Uh, I got this beautiful little fabric um, embroidered lantern and the light fixture that goes in it. Look at that. And I'm going to hang this under the big umbrella. Won't that be great? Because I have, you know, electrical outlets out there. 
So, uh, should look really pretty under the umbrella, right? Really fun. That's what I love about Christmas tree shops. I mean, there's so much cool stuff there. And you buy the lantern, and you can get the power, the, the light fixture part, too. How fun. And, uh, like a 15 foot cord kit, $3.99. Really? You can buy a ton of these and make lamps. Make art lamps, right? How fun. Okay, also over there, I got some marinades. I got marinades for the barbecue. It's really fun. Uh, this is awesome. Chil uh, sweet chili sauce. Look at that. Marinade. Yummy. I got um, Maui Mountain Sweet and Sour, Hawaiian style. Look at that. Definitely. Definitely a chicken. Mmm. Uh, Mexican style fajita marinade. Very fun. I'm going to buy tons of these in the uh, in the summertime. The, and these uh, World Harbor marinades are really, really good. Okay. Thrift shop. Uh, I've got a bunch of stuff in the thrift. But, uh, no, did I? I can't remember. I got a few things. I, I don't think it, I don't think the thrift uh, was turning too much good up uh, lately. But I did find some more old cookbooks and fish and seafood cookery. Look at that, beautiful. This is on best packed products. Sea sealed. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not even familiar with that, so it must be very early. The New England Cookbook, another of the Shoprite, uh, for 1949 to, to the early 50s. Very fun. Uh, quick dishes for the woman in a hurry. Shop right, awesome, and this is really fun. This better homes and gardens table settings, and this one is 1968, and you can really tell <laughs> by the table settings. Check it out, like the mod table setting, and uh, lots of fun stuff in there. They're all great. Love them all. Uh. Got another package in the mail. Give me one second, guys. I'm having great difficulty <laughs> trying to do things without Vaji doing something to. I so I'm carrying an ant trap around. I'm like, what? Where did he find it? And why is he? Why is he having it in his mouth? Oh my God! This dog. When I try to do the podcast, I have to make sure that he's um, sound asleep. Otherwise he will scratch on my chair incessantly and uh, to be picked up. And it's just so, <laughs> oh my God, you can't do these things with animals. Okay, I got a great package the other day from my friend Van and it was like a chock full of really, really cool things. And of course it was in uh, orange tissue paper because orange tissue paper, orange is her favorite color. And it's a scalloped edges, really fun, beautiful stuff. Um, in here, and her her note says, I wanted to send you a random care package. When I see things that I think you might like, I can't help myself, and I buy them. I've had the Hey, hey Jude uh, crankshaft for years. There are party favors for something I don't even remember. That is so awesome. Uh, it's signed Van, orange note, of course, very fun. Uh, so much cool stuff in here. I, I don't even know. Oh my god, where to begin? This is really cool. Uh, Love Me and Die, an old Pulp Fiction um, cover, front and back. Uh, it's, but it's a blank notebook, so I can make my podcast notes, uh, my notes for upcoming podcasts in there. I love this. Sweet Spirits. Um, uh, Day of the Dead, Dia de los Muertos, cookie cutters. Really nice ones though. I have um, a skull cookie cutter that's just the metal outline shape. These have all kinds of awesome uh, designs that actually imprint onto the cookie, which is really amazing. And then you finish them off with icing, which is spectacular. These are so fun. Uh, one of my favorite things ever 
is this. And you know what this is? It is a silicone um, hot mitt. How do you call it? Hot, uh, what do you call those things? Pot holder. <laughs> I love this. This is being hung up in my kitchen immediately. I didn't hang it up yet because I wanted to show you first. But look at that. It's a 45 record. Silicone hot mitt. Pot holder. Pot holder. That's what, I think that's what you call them. <laughs> that's what I call them. Really, really cool. I love, I've never seen a 45 record uh, pot holder in my life. That is awesome. One of the creepy doll head van, van's own art tile, which is great. And I always love van's tiles. It's great. It's signed. It's numbered. And it's it's insanely cool. You know, I love creepy dolls. So this is really perfect. Uh, two more coasters. Which, I, I'm, a, I'm a coaster fiend. I put them under everything. As soon as somebody's like trying to put something down, a coaster goes sliding right under. Um, Columbia Christmas at Home. Look at that. And this one. This is called Women. And it's a nice early black Columbia. Look at that. Aren't these beautiful? They have rubber bottoms. Really awesome. 78 labels. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Uh, in there was part of my blooper um, on the air, an album of radio and TV's most hilarious boners. <laughs> part of my blooper. New edition volume three. Look at that little gatefold EP set. Fabulous. Gatefold, but nothing written inside. How fun is that? That is really neat. Kermit Schaefer on the back. Whoever he was. This is about Kermit Schaefer. He must have been a radio personality or something. Really fun. And the farmer in the Dell. Picture sleeve, um, picture disc. Backed with the counting song. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. Just a I love children's picture discs. They're so I love picture disc period, but the, little ch the children's ones, the graphics are always so great. These are one of my favorites. Look at this. Postcards of old comic book covers. Look at that. Out of this world. Fantastic worlds. Forbidden worlds. <laughs> uh, Chamber of Chills is awesome. Mysterious Adventures. Uh, my Romantic Adventures. These are so awesome. And baffling mysteries. Look at that. But um, this one here, with like the space dinosaurs and the rocket ship, is awesome. And this one here uh, is really great. Interplanet Express. Look at that. That is an awesome graphic right there. Love that. They're so fun. And she gave me this. This little tiny crankshaft music box. But what's so fun about this, it even had like the screws came with it to mount it on something. But here we go. Listen up guys. It's Hey Jude. Awesome. Check it out. Really old school. I mean, it's the way that little music boxes were always done with the uh, raised metal um, pegs that the, the little metal um, fingers click against. Very, very beautiful. Okay, also went to um, Music Connection. I hadn't been there in a long time, and I got these. Uh, favorite songs for young cowhands. Look at that. Awesome. Love the cover on that. I think I have this uh, in a more uh, with a really bad cover, like a really trashed cover. 
themes from hit TV shows. Look at this. We have um, Beretta, Happy Days, SWAT, Kojak, Good Times, Chico and the Man, MASH, all like 70s TV shows. Like things that I grew up with. Really fun. And uh, 101 Strings play hits written by the Beatles. Look at that. That's a great one. Very, very, very fun. So, uh, I've got a new brew here. It's called Elysian Super Fuzz Blood Orange Pale. Look at that. I love it. And on the um, six pack case thing, whatever, um, it says free your free your mind and your beer will follow <laughs> I thought that was so funny it's a strange tasting beer but I, I really kind of like it there's a Jimi Hendrix looking guy on the cover with a big afro really fun so anyway guys that's the scores I wanted to just pop in and say hi and I wanted to thank Trish and Van for the magical gifts it's so fun to get an unexpected package in the mail. I just love that. So I will talk to you all very soon. Have a magical, mystical, musical Monday. I love you all. Bye.